Hi guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and today I am making a coffee soap which will have coffee grounds in it and I was going to make it with coffee but I see you know what I had already made my lye so I wasn't in the mood to go brew some coffee and then remake lye. So this is just going to have coffee grounds and it's going to be scented with Rustic Essentials Coffee House. Um, this stuff smells amaze balls of course you guys know i was going to say that so <laughs> it it really really does so i'm just i'm going to um what am i gonna do let me think oh <laughs> there's no need for me lighting this because it's gonna be chocolate okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this off um into my gold into my white i'm gonna put gold in it and um kind of feels like my soap i just made last uh my caramel pretzel bar but I just I made uh, this soap before moons ago and um, this is before I even was on YouTube and it was dark chocolate and I actually used real chocolate to color it it was dark chocolate and white and I'm just like I really don't want to do that again so um, I'm going to I probably should have gotten a mold <laughs> I'll get that in a second it's not too far from me so um, yeah, go ahead and pour my white first. And I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to pour quite a bit because I do want mostly white. And I do want some for the top. And then here's my gold. I normally pre-mix that, but um, I uh, had already put my, my other additives in my oil. So it's a little too late. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour in my fragrance. This smells just like if you're a coffee lover, you're going to love this. Um, definitely. So if you're a soap maker, definitely get Coffee House. This is the closest you'll ever get to a coffee scented uh, fragrance. Uh, it smells like walking into a coffee shop. It really, really does. Oh, that smells delicious. And there's just a tiny hint of something sweet in there too. I love this fragrance definitely I had used a little bit of it last year in a wax melt and um, decided I want to use the rest of it this round so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this mixed in alrighty so I got everything mixed in it smells so good in here and it just feels weird making all of these uh, fall scented soaps and it's 90 degrees outside today. And again, once you guys see these videos, they'll be about, I think this one's going to be about seven weeks out. Um, so it's been made and it's going to be listed by the time you see this video. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in the bar, just head right over to my Bit Cartel. The links are in the description box below to go over to my store. Or you can wait to the very end of the video. There will be a pop-up with a, so a bar soap in it. You can just click on that and it'll take you right to my store. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and scrape the bottoms of this just to get everything mixed in properly. And then um, we will commence the pouring. Oh, I'm so happy to be done with that dark olive oil. Oh my goodness, that stuff was about to drive me crazy because I like me some white in my soaps and I could not get a white to save my life because it was just too, just too yellow. So it's good to be back to um, getting white based soaps. And also, um, I found Jewards. Um, I know a lot of you shop from Jewards if you're a soap maker. And um, I um, see that they have a really, really good price on their olive oil. I think I'd ask you guys before if you knew a place that sold really um uh, olive oil for a good price in bulk but I think I'm going to try them out and then for I think it's 39 pounds it's only um I got some bits of gold mica in here that's not mixed but I'm okay with that um it'll actually look pretty in the soap but yeah their shipping is only 35 bucks so yeah definitely going to be going with them 
and um i am just like so i get excited when i see other soap makers just doing big things and adian of uh the feet that i'm at i am just so happy for her <laughs> I, it's awesome to see you know i remember before i even started making soap i watch her religiously and i would see her studio and i thought it was the coolest and i mean how cool is it to have a soap studio and live where she lives on the Magdalene islands in quebec canada and it's just all that beautiful water and it's, it's just such a beautiful place um i'm in michigan so quebec is not crazy crazy far from me so i could actually go there and i think um i might just make a a trip of that because it looks gorgeous there and um i did look at their tourist video on youtube but yeah um she actually she's she's gotten this uh, i mean um amazing soap studio built and i'm pretty sure by the time this video is posted she'll have it up and running it is gorgeous it just looks exciting and it's insp most definitely inspiring so um uh congrats to you ariane i mean seriously 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 that is awesome and i hope to one day be like you my sister i do <laughs> okay so normally i would color this and make it chocolate but I think this time I'm not going to. I'm just going to let the vanillin color it what color it's going to be. And I'm kind of feeling like that's not a good idea. <laughs> so, oh, nope, nope, I can't do it. Because what if it came out to be like some ugly brown? <laughs> I mean, or some ugly tan. So, yeah, um, let me check the vanillin content on this. And then if I need to, I'm going to darken it. Be back. All right, guys, I checked the vanillin content on this. And it is pretty high. So, <laughs> um... I would have been okay but i just get nervous <laughs> i'm like oh, i don't know i don't know i don't know so um i'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a nice dark chocolate too I'm gonna add some white and i'm gonna pour it straight down let me do because i want it to go away to the bottom and then i'm gonna pour some gold on top of that what you think about that guys actually i'm not <laughs> i'm going to pour some more of my chocolate and then um oh not on the table kenny seriously <laughs> okay anyway um yeah i'm going <laughs> wow yep i'm back hey <laughs> guys i am back <laughs> okay all right guys so i just realized something oh goodness gracious and i could just like scream like seriously right right now scream i forgot to put my coffee grounds in it <laughs> so um what i do have left i'm gonna go ahead and mix those in jeez i don't know I, I don't even know how i forgot that see if i don't have stuff sitting right in front of me i will forget so I guess I didn't need as much as I thought I needed. I had uh, Gabe bring me down some coffee grounds and I dried them out. And um, I'm thinking, I was just like, oh no, we need some more. But I um, guess I didn't. But I'm going to make it work. So no fretting over here. Pour that in. Stir that up. And I'm going to put it in my gold too. And my white. What's left of my white? <laughs> Talking about kind so guys, I totally don't know what happened to the rest of this making video, but enjoy the cutting. So sorry about that. Hi darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Soap over at Royal Appleberry, and today I am cutting my coffee soap. I do not have any room on this table. All of my, that just shows how much soap I've been making. All of my drying racks are completely full. I probably made in the past, I want to say two weeks probably a good ooh, it's well over 200 soaps <laughs> so not loaves of soaps but 200 bars of soaps so i'm just adding to it i'm getting ready for these craft beers so um right now i cut the end off and this is the color of it of course this is not going to be the final color it's probably going to turn a dark chocolate which is fantastic because that's the color i want it to turn so this has been out of the mold and um, mm, 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 mm. no it's been in the mold for two days. I took it off the mold about an hour ago. It's nice and hard. So I'm very, oh, pretty, pretty. Look at that. 
that is gorgeous man <laughs> i really do like the way that looks that is one majestic looking swirl isn't it so very very happy me gotta make some room and i've been putting extra i stopped using sodium lactate in my soaps um and i just started adding extra salt so i'm loving the hardness on these bars right now nothing crazy but just a little bit more salt than i normally use and for those of you who don't know what salt is for, salt is for hardening your soaps. Oh, these are lovely. I am very pleased with the way they look. And they smell so good. I'm actually happy that I didn't put the coffee ground throughout the whole soap. So, what a, a happy mistake. <laughs> lot of editing to do and um well i was going to thank you and I, I can still thank you but um for all the love that you guys gave on my rustic essential uh 2017 happy fall y'all uh video that was just so wonderful everybody just enjoyed it and i really enjoy editing that for you all of course this is weeks later after the video but still i just want to thank you anyway Hope you guys are having a great day. It is another blazer outside. It is 92 degrees here in Michigan on September 26th. So, <laughs> um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> and I'm not complaining at all. Because uh, for a minute I thought our summer was completely gone. But it was because of all the hurricanes. So, but all that stuff has cleared up. So, we have our summer back. But tomorrow is the last day and it's going down to the 60s and that's where it's going to stay which is okay too as long as i don't see snow and it's below below 50 i have no complaints <laughs> yeah these are gorgeous and i think they're going to be even more prettier even more prettier is that a word prettier yeah yeah okay i think i just used the wrong context <laughs> i think they're going to be even prettier once they uh turn chocolatey so, ooh, that one's kind of hard and like when you get these little frizzies on the ends I mean on the edges from cutting them you know these are firmed up pretty nicely I love that and I am getting a few drag marks but nothing crazy and that's just coming from the coffee grains grounds coffee grounds Alrighty, and there's that one there. Yeah, that's lovely. And then the gold's gonna darken up as well. So yeah, yeah. And I love that coffee sprinkled top with a bit of white. It's just really pretty. And I do hope that these sell well because last time I made a coffee soap, it just trickled, trickled, trickled out of here. But it's like I told you guys, every time I stop making a soap everyone asked for it. and then i make it it's just like nobody buys it <laughs> so i really do hope some of you like coffee scented soaps and want to buy some because <laughs> um it's no fun to make a soap that you love and nobody buys and this puppy did heat up just a little bit um because it cracked on the top when i was down here with it it was fine but i guess during the night it heated up and i just knew that i was gonna have some crazy glycerin rivers but Oddly enough, I don't. And I didn't put this one in the fridge. So, that's good. But, um, uh, that one's very light and wispy. For a minute when I cut it, I didn't think it was any swirls on there at all. But it is. And I'm finally able to get back into my Facebook page. Me and Facebook, we have a love-hate relationship. Because they do the dumbest crap ever. Um, you, I want to say about three years ago. Facebook asked me, and I think I told the story before, Facebook asked me to set an administrator. I did, and then they locked me out of my page and never, ever allowed me to get back into that page. And I had, I think, some like 3,000 followers at the time. And so I contacted all my contacts in it and was able to get quite a few back and gain some new uh, followers on Facebook. So I had a problem with Amazon. Someone hacked into my Amazon account, ordered some crap that I don't want, and then sent it to me. <laughs> So, um, I changed, I went through and changed all of my passwords and all of my accounts and as well as Facebook and they decided to lock me out of my account for about a week. It was saying that I had, um, submitted a, submitted, um, 
a file and I hadn't. All I did was change my password. So I was finally able to get back into it today. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, and that one's exactly one inch. But yeah, so now I can get back into my soap groups and all that fun stuff. So I do have a mini. I don't know if I'm going to sell this, like I said, because it's so thin. Actually, you know what? I am. I'm just going to go ahead and make them a little bit bigger and it won't be as many for sale. And this mold is mess. Let me just cut her. Okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, this one turned out cute. But it was very, very thin. So I'm going to cut this one at... Not exactly two inches, maybe a an inch and a half let's see I think an inch and a half will do yeah so I should get about four or five out of this yeah perfect not bad at all and you know what I'm starting to feel like this is not gonna darken up and the reason why I say that is because it's still like that light tan color on top ah right, because this actually had a lot of vanillin in it the fragrance but if it doesn't, that's cool because it looks just like coffee with cream in it. So, <laughs> it's a win-win. If it does change, if it doesn't change. If it does change, of course, you guys will see the picture in the thumbnail. But if it doesn't, then you'll see the picture in the thumbnail. I, I really do hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. <sighs> I was such a scatterbrain at work today. I don't know why I just could not focus to save my life. So, I ended up leaving early. Because I was really just sitting at my desk on YouTube instead of working. So I'm just like, eh, you know, I'm not being productive. What's the purpose of me being here? And I didn't leave too crazy early, so it's not like something I need to make up. And for those of you who think that I'm a slacker and skip out of my job, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, you already know that my job is pretty flexible with my hours. Um, as long as you get your job done, nobody gives you any gnarly looks. And if you do uh, miss time, all they ask is for you to make it up. You don't even have to necessarily make it up that week, but as long as you make it up. So, that's why I was able to leave my job and um, come home. And I just kind of sat and did nothing because I need to clear my mind. <laughs> and it's nothing bad. It's just my mind is always prepping. Always, you know, the next step ahead of what I need to do. So, that's all. Alright guys, that's all for this soap. And I have uh, one more to cut, which you guys will see next week. So, until then, bye-bye.